Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab. And uh, I showed you the, the MIG Weld 100 in the last video. Well, now we're gonna do the, the Stick Weld 200. And uh, just like the last time, I'm just gonna take it right out of the box for the first time and see what we got going on. And uh, this is a nice little unit here. It's, uh, it's got the inverter technology. It's got the 110 and the 220 volt. It'll come with the adapter plug. It's uh, easy to read, digital. Um, it'll run all the rods you want. So let's take a look at this thing. Got the manual, that's a good thing. That gives you all your parameters for setting up your stick weld. And it's uh, also TIG welding capable too, and so I'll get to that here in just a little bit. Let's see what I got going on here. Okay. Just like, just like Christmas. That's why I saved this for this morning. Okay, boy, it's real light. 15 pounds at the most, I'd say. Wow. We have the other, other little stick welders, the 140 and the 200i. This one, look at that, one hand, wow. Put it in a suitcase. Now, like I said, it comes with it comes with the other adapter too, so that's got to be in the box. And then I'll go ahead and I'll run a bead and we'll see how it works. And I'll be right back and get my hood. Okay, here's what we're gonna get. You got your manual here, and this shows you all your safety and your uh, operating procedures on there for like the material thickness and stuff like that. Now it'll run on the 6011, 13, all that kind of 60 rods, and then your 7018 rods too. It's just a standard rod kind of thing. And remember, it's only a 200 amp, so you can't really go really, really, really thick with it. So let's see what we got in the box. Okay, now remember it's also the 110 and 220, so you got your adapter plug. So that goes right into your wall socket, and then here's the, for that. Okay, let's see what we got in the box. And probably it's just gonna be like your, your stingers. Now this is also the TIG capable. So the TIG torches do not come with this machine, but you can, it's an option, you go ahead, you can accessorize. And it, the regulators and different kind of torch. I've got one over here, I'll show you what, what it is. So it's, here's your hood and your little brush and your lenses. And we got our stingers and our ground. Here's our ground you get. And then I, there's, what's in that box? And then you get your, your rod stinger, rod holder. So we'll go ahead, we'll uh, power this up and we'll strike an arc and see how this thing works. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll power this guy up. Now, what I was saying, now it comes with your little face shield and a handle and a brush and a lens right there. So that'll get you started. And uh, then you can go ahead and buy a longevity hood. <laughs> and uh, there's other, other stuff here. Let's see here now. We've got our, our ground cable, like I was saying, and that'll go over here on your negative side. And I'm not gonna use this stuff because it's all nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and use ours. And then, uh, then your stick holder will go over here. Same thing, I'm not gonna use it. But now when we wanna go for the 220 or the 110, and I'm gonna use the 220, you don't have to use the adapter, okay? But if you wanna to go to the 110, you got the adapter for it. So I'll go ahead and hook up my stingers, cause they're dirty and drug around the yard. And uh, let me get my ground. And uh, before I do that, let's go do this. Let's power this thing up. The switch is in the back. And it makes a little noise. It's not loud. And all your controls are right through here. And uh, I'm gonna just weld some, just some quarter inch material here. This is a bracket for a job I got going on. And uh, so we're gonna turn it up to, I'd say probably, I'm gonna use the, 
the 7018 on there, but it's only going to be a smaller rod, a 332 rod. I'll, I'll do the, the 6011 on it too. How's that? So we'll stay with that. Let me uh, see what's going on and get my hood and, and make some sparks. Okay, now I've got it turned on and it's kind of hot. It's running at a 122 and I'm running at the 220 volts. So I got to turn that way down because I'm going to use my little 6010 here with the eighth inch rod. And for quarter inch, I do my whip, that'll, that'll be way too much heat. So I can turn that one down. I go about 60, 65, give or take. And uh, yeah, because otherwise that's way too hot. And then on the other side, or another piece, I'll do some, some 7018. Let's get this going first. Yeah, even that's a little hot. I'll turn that down a little bit. But this is an eighth inch rod. That burns pretty good. You just gotta remember to add that rod, don't make that long arc like I did. Let's see what this looks like. Then again, too, we're not here to watch me weld. We're, we're here to look at the machine. And uh, so far, I like it. That runs an okay bead. Remember, it's not the machine, it's the operator. And I'll flip it around. Let's run a 7018 on this. Oop. There we go. Okay. Now with the 7018, this is a thicker rod. So I'm gonna go up a little hotter. Because 7018, it likes to run on a flat surface. It doesn't like your vertical. It'll run the vertical, it just doesn't like it. I'm gonna go about 100. Yeah, 100, close enough. That runs nice, I like that too. See how hot it gets? It gets real hot. Good thing that's just gonna go in cement anyway. Okay, that didn't turn out too bad. I'm a little hot, but uh, and I was kind of in a hurry. But uh, yeah, for a little stick welder, it runs good. And that was, that was turned down quite a bit. So if the 110, obviously it'll work good for you too. Just a thinner rod and a, a thinner material. But remember, it's also, it's TIG, TIG uh, capable. And uh, the torches that they have optional, it's a really light little stinger. And it's got, it's got the adapter because the outlet here, it's a small fitting and it, it'll adapt onto here. And then the gas line will go straight to the cylinder. It does not run into the machine. And uh, we've got the regulators for it. And uh, the other little consumables, the cups and the call it and call it body and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the flow meter is in the gauge. So it, everything is right here. And the, the, these regulators also work for the CO2. And uh, that's all optional though. So the hoods, gloves, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, yeah, this little welder, the little 200 stick weld, it's, it's pretty nice. Like I said, it's nice and light too. Anyway, uh, I'm Rob. Thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye.